Hello legends. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install NAN onto your own personal computer. I'm gonna go through the documentation with you so you actually understand what's going on. Um, I'm gonna show you how to keep your NAN up to date. But then the coolest thing I'm gonna speak about is this NAN with tunnel. And um, yeah, from like a personal productivity point of view, like let's say you download this onto your own comp like personal computer, you're not paying for a paid account through NAN, you're not hosting it on a server. How can you actually use this effectively um, let's say you have like a nine to five job, how can you use it for your nine to five job to automate tasks and workflows? So uh, basically NAN with Tunnel allows you to trigger NAN workflows from external apps. So I'm gonna show you a little graphic that I have about this and basically speak a little bit more about this. And I think, yeah, if you're running this on your own computer and you have a desk job, like a computer job, um, run it like this and you can kind of automate some of your workflows. So, um, okay, to get started, we have to, we're gonna be using NPM, which is Node Project Manager to download and install this onto our own local machine. We have to have Node.js installed. And if you've watched some of my videos before, like I always code in JavaScript, I explain Node.js as the kitchen for JavaScript. So this is the engine that's gonna allow us to run JavaScript on our computer. Um, and Node itself is typically built into most browsers. So when you're on a website and you're kind of like switching between tabs and you have that functionality of, you know, going from one page to another or different actions on websites like API calls. If you're on Facebook and you like someone's post or uh, I don't know, you're, you're placing a comment um, on someone's post, all that kind of functionality, switching tabs, liking, adding comments, um, all that is run on Node. So Node is extremely powerful. It's very common for running like these kind of like apps and tools on your local machine as well. So the first step is to yeah click this open, uh, download Node.js, follow the instructions for your computer. It'll probably take you like two to three minutes to actually download and install this. Uh, if you already have it installed, you don't need to do that again. So if you're already coding with like cursor or something and you've installed it before, you can just skip that step. Um, now there's two ways to actually download. We're gonna be using the npm install. We're gonna be using this command. It's like the beefed up version of this. Uh, and it's gonna permanently install onto our computer, which means we can access it at any time. But basically once it installs the very first time, we can then go to our terminal, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second, and run it immediately by running just this command. So this is like um, taking everything, installing everything, getting all the packages, and then putting it on our computer. And this is basically just you know kickstarting it whenever we wanna use it. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up a new terminal. So basically write terminal, this is on Mac, um, find the equivalent for your uh, PC. Um, so we're gonna open up terminal, we're then gonna copy this command, I'm gonna go back to terminal and paste it into here. So this initial time that you run this command, it'll probably take this process about five or 10 minutes to download and install. So I'm gonna come back to this video when this is completely finished downloading and installing. Yeah, right Mike, so now we're back. That took about four minutes. Um, and we've, yeah, we've take, basically we've got all the packages, everything we need, uh, it's been downloaded and installed onto our computer. Um, over here, we've got a couple other instructions. So this first bit is uh, basically how we could install a previous version of NAN, which we don't need to do anything with this. And personally, I don't think we even need a, um, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even want to install a previous version if you're just starting out because there's, there's no point. Get the latest version. Um, and over here, it speaks about the next version. So if we just go back up to the top over here, uh, this little note basically says that NAN is updated, you know, every couple of weeks, like one to two times, uh, sorry, one, every once, like once every one to two weeks. Um, and there's two main versions that are available. One is the latest version, which is for production use. And yeah, the latest version is the current version um, that's yeah for public use. The next version is what the what NAN is working on, and uh, it's in beta, and it might have some issues. So it might be a little bit unstable. It might have some bugs. Um, so essentially, I think the cycle is that the next issue, uh, the next version is released. Then people will use it. If there are any bugs or issues, they would report it. Then once the next version is like fixed and patched up and it's it's all ready to go, this turns into the latest version. And then they have, you know, the next version that they're working on. And again, it might just be like uh, updated features. It might be fixes to bugs. It might be a bunch of different reasons why they're actually updating it. But I think that's the cycle. So when we're, when we're um, downloading this for the first time, we're going to be pointing to the latest version. But after a couple of weeks, so like let's say in one or two weeks from now, NAN probably has already updated their uh, actual version. So 
to update our version, we would just run this command. So you would go npm update and then you basically copy and paste this. So we're going to do that right now as well. So let's assume that, you know, we have this version and um, I'm going to explain how to run this as well in a second. But uh, you basically come into your terminal. So if, even if I just close this completely and then just terminate it, um, if I go back and create a new terminal, I don't have to run that first command again because I've already installed it and now it's globally accessible on my computer. So uh, as you remember, I've copied and pasted that other command, which is npm update. And I'm going to hit run. And this is going to update my version to the latest version. So uh, pretty much I'll have the latest version next. We've just downloaded and installed a couple of seconds ago, um, but it'll run through the exact same process as before. And OK, so we we we, up, we had some updates. So maybe the version that we downloaded wasn't pointing to the latest. So yeah, you would run this specific command, um, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, however free, like, you know, however often you want. Um, and you'll always have the latest version on your computer. So now how do you actually run this? So there's two different ways to run this. The first is by running one of these commands, NAN or NAN start uh, from the terminal. Uh, and the second way to run this is by doing this N8N start with tunnel. So we're going to look at this in just a second. Um, but let's copy this. Let's go back to our terminal. And again, um, I can close this terminal. And like, let's say I fully shut down my computer today and I come back to it tomorrow and I open up a brand new terminal. So let's just do the exact same thing. I'm going to quit it here. I'm going to go over here and write terminal. I'm kind of pushing the point a lot here that you don't you don't need to you know rerun all these commands each time. You can just run it once initially when you're installing it. So now I've got a fresh terminal. I've just left this for two days. I've come back on, like turned my computer back on. And if I want to run this, I'm just going to go N8N start and I hit enter and it's going to start up. And I can just press O to open in the browser. So I'm going to hit O and I have my NAN. So since I've already been using this on my computer, um, you can go, uh, you basically have a screen if it's the very first time for you to log in and create an account. So it'll just be your username, your password, your email, um, and you basically go through the startup sequence. And then you see something like this. So you can create new workflows, you can do, do you can do different things as well. Um, but right now, I think it's a perfect time for us to go and look at this N8N with Tunnel. So once again, this is only accessible uh, within my computer locally. This is running on a local host, which is just being projected from my computer onto a web page. This is not the internet. This is just how we can interact with the app as well. So if I go back to terminal to actually close this, I'm going to press Control and C on Mac and I've shut this down. So if I refresh this, I don't have access anymore. So that's how you turn the system off. Um, it's turned off manually or you can just like, you know, when you shut down your computer, it'll basically cancel all the operations. Um, but OK, so we have this page that just opened up for us. So, yeah, we've, we've just run this using, uh, where is it? N8N start. Now we want to speak about how to run it with this start tunnel version. So we, when we run N8N start, we have this version that we run. So let's say this is an N8N scenario, like a workflow automation. Um, by running this manually, by going into the workflow, hitting start on the actual workflow, we can still make changes to external uh, apps. So we can um, send a new email in Gmail. We can create a new task in ClickUp. We can interact with our Slack. We can interact with our CRM. We can do all sorts of things externally, but we have to trigger it manually. Now, from a personal productivity workflow, like let's say you're at work and um, you actually want to somehow trigger this automatically. So it's running in the background all the time without you having to come into NAN and hit start. Like the real value is in this is basically running without you even um, doing anything to interact with the actual workflow. So when you run it with N8 and start tunnel, so this is just a command I'm going to run it in a terminal. I'm going to show you in a second. Um, you actually open up this portion of the workflow. So this NAN with Tunnel allows you to trigger your workflows, your NAN workflows from external tools. Um, sorry, so let's say over here we have um, every time you get a new email in your Gmail during when you're at work and you don't want to get uh, sidetracked by like spam or by not important emails, you can send, you can make an automation that sends every new email from your inbox directly to NAN to be processed. So this is working in the background. It's automatic every time you get a new email. It gets processed in NAN. And then, for example, one of the actions is it sorts the email into spam and you never even see it. Another action could be, let's say you have a, an automation where you can send a voice note into Slack. 
and then so you can connect Slack into your NAN scenario. Um, and bas so basically the tunnel just creates a URL that you can target, uh, like a webhook that you can target. So you can point new emails to the URL. You can, it's like, a, like an inbound webhook. You can point your Slack um, to target that URL as well. And we'll look at that in a second. Um, so yeah, you can get a Slack voice note that you just send to a Slack channel. You plug that channel into your NAN workflow and then maybe um, the workflow processes that voice note and then it creates a new task in ClickUp for you and does a bunch of different actions and tags people and whatever else. Um, or you have a CRM and every time you get a new lead in your CRM, it's directly pointed to this, um, to this tunnel version. So like the inbound webhook, it's processed in your NAN scenario and then maybe you send an onboarding email to that new lead. So you can see here, when you're running just the NAN start command, you have to manually come into here to trigger workflows. But you know if you're running the NAN tunnel command, it's an entire system. So it can be triggered from external tools. Now, um, this is technically the version that people wanna deploy, like that you're either paying NAN for directly or you get it and you host it on your own, um, on your own server. And the value of hosting it on a server is that you can have these automations running 24 seven and it's a much more secure way to do this. Um, but the functionality, like the feature of actually NAN with tunnel means from a personal use case, if you have this on your computer and you don't have a business and you just wanna work faster and smarter and whatever else in your regular nine to five job, um, then this is how you do that with this completely local on your own computer. Now, let's look at how to actually uh, run this. So I'm just gonna copy this command I'm gonna open up my terminal, I'm gonna bring it back into view. So um, now I'm not gonna start up a new terminal, I'm just showing you that it already stopped NAN before. So I'm just gonna paste this command into here. I'm gonna hit run, and it's the basically the exact same process as before, but now it's just generating a uh, URL for me to use that I can point my external tools to. So I'm gonna hit O again to open up, and I'm gonna go into this workflow, and let's say on this workflow I want to, um, Okay, when it's testing this, I'm just gonna do, let me just put a webhook into here. Uh, I'm gonna go to on webhook call and I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna listen for a test event. So now I have this URL that I can point to. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna grab my uh, cursor. Just backspace this URL. Okay, so over here, I've just got a very basic API call and I'm gonna paste in this URL over here. So uh, now this is basically listening for an inbound uh, API call from an external tool. And to simulate that, I've just got cursor. It's got a very basic API call. I'm not really sending anything with this, but I'm gonna trigger this. So I'm gonna go node. And as you can see, I've got a, you know, this is, it's running on node as well, you know, from the start of this video, haha. -ha. Um, and I'm gonna go event. So I'm just gonna call this uh, script to run the API call. And as you can see, we just ran it and we have message successful, the call was successful, um, and that's basically, this is giving us um, information on where the call came from. So as you can see, you would now go back to your canvas and you would create a workflow like this, and instead of just using cursor like this basic script here, um, you would plug this, you basically plug your Slack to point across to this webhook URL, and then as long as you're using, using the tunnel version and you have this open on your computer, so you have to actually go into terminal, you have to start this, um, then this actual workflow will be accessible. The moment I do control and C and I cancel this and then I refresh this, for example, so I'm gonna hit reload and nothing is here. Let's say I bring this back into here. So this is basically like, now it's not running on my computer because I, 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 I turned it off, right? So I'm gonna go node event here just to, just to see. We're sending the request, but we have an error because it's, it's not live. Like that uh, scenario is not live. All right, so back in the documentation, I just wanna make one distinction here. So when you use NAN with tunnel, the URL that you generated um, basically allows you to use external tools like Slack or Gmail or ClickUp to plug into your NAN workflow and to trigger it and to basically make it run. Um, I just wanna show you something that when you run this command, so let's go to terminal, let's run this command, let's start up a version without the tunnel. Um, I'm gonna open it up go into the workflow, let's just uh, organize on webhook call and listen for test event. So over here, we actually get a URL, which is a local host URL that we can use to also trigger this workflow. So 
uh, if I go back to here into cursor and I hit, um, I basically put this localhost URL into here and I go node event to run this, it's gonna be successful. Now, um, when you're using the local host version, it just means that you can trigger the workflow from tools that are directly uh, on your computer. So basically the same environment. But if I use the local host URL and I put it into my Slack so I can trigger a workflow here, or I put it into my Gmail or my ClickUp, basically any other external tool um, to trigger the workflow that's local on my computer, it will not work. So the local host, you can use it like for uh, workflows completely within your computer. Um, but if you do wanna trigger your NAN scenario from some other external tool, you have to use this method. All right, guys, and that's it. So uh, basically from here, the only upkeep you would have is that every one to two weeks, you would periodically come back into uh, this documentation. You might save this um, actual command somewhere, but you would just get this command. You'd go into your terminal. Um, you just make sure that your uh, NAN stopped and you would just run this command yeah, once every um, one to two weeks to make sure that you have the latest version of NAN on your computer. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll probably be making more videos about NAN, about how to deploy to a server, because I'm, I'm thinking about migrating all of my make.com workflows across to NAN because they're getting just really intensive. I've got lots and lots of operations running. So um, yeah, if you want to see more videos about NAN, um, just please comment below. If you found this video interesting about the concept of using uh, tunnels for personal productivity, uh, please let me know as well. All right, thank you guys. See you later.